So the match starts, Pete starts right off. Pete starts right off. Pete's a very vicious wrestler. This young man's good looking, he's very well built, but Pistol Pete doesn't care. Pistol Pete's so ugly, he don't care about getting messed up. That's to his advantage. It's a yeah, tough Mexican Pete, here. Pete's thought he's out on a house of fire here, Ripper. Yes, this Mercy. man is very, very vicious. Oh, well, Ripper, your eyes there. Pistol Pete's been around for many years. He's wrestled the best of them. He wrestled many world champions. Held his own against a lot of them. Yeah, and this uh, Prince Tonga, I understand, just flew in from the island of Tonga. Well, it's I a think, combination uh, of just experience and meanness on the part of Pete. I kind of feel sorry for this young kid, you know? Young, good-looking kid. He might not be so good-looking after this match. Yeah. Uh, he has a way of doing instant plastic surgery on people, you know? Pete, I've got my power head locker here. But Pete blocks that, blocks that with a knee to the... And he continues, he kicks him, he stomps him. Big punch to the back of the neck, big rabbit punch. Paralyzing the central nervous system. Grabs that arm. Get that arm back. Well, that'll break all them elbow joints that rip. That's all. Yes. Oh, the big tongue and picked him up on a oh, slam. Amazing reversal here, huh? And big piece of Pete takes for a walk. That's the old trick, one of your tricks, that ripper, the old uh, take a walk trick. Well, he who turns and walks away lives to fight another day. You know what I'm I talking about? I understand, I understand. That's what a great ripper savage has been around for so many years lately. And now Pistol P talked in the crowd. And Pete finally gets back in the ring here, ladies and gentlemen. Pete's very bulky, doesn't show much muscle tone, but with his viciousness, he can make that extra body weight into strength. Tie up, they're both trying for position. Oh, the tongue got a ball. Beautiful full Nelson by the tongue. Big tongue. Now you can imagine with this man's arms if they really put on a full Nelson, but Pete reverses it. But he gets rid of a snap there. Kid's not bad, huh? Oh, it's a. Welcome to America, Mr. Tonga. You know that. As far as I'm concerned, they can send them back. Yeah, well, let's see what Mr. Pete here do with him. That'd be a one-way ticket, right back. See, the referee had his arms, hands full of their rip. He's got a Mexican up there and then a, an Islander. I don't know, none of them speaks English, I understand. That well, it's a very, I have a hard time telling them the rules. Well, it seems like the Islander obeys the rules anyway. Pete does what he wants. He kind of has that ripper feeling, if you know what I mean. Ten minutes. He's got a foot on that rope right there, Rip, so he's got to break the cow back. Yeah. Mr. Pete's ready to give him one of those bonsai kicks. Oh, yeah. You know, 
punching your knee, Chris. Drop it. Oh, it's going to help with that knee. Drop it on that knee sideways. This guy could be wearing a brace for the rest of his life. Pete's pretty vulnerable right now. Oh, what a tremendous great ball there. Brian Prince Tuna. He yanks those hamstrings, you know, back yeah, of the that'll, leg. That'll stretch them out. Fans are getting on Pete's case there. Uh, yeah, he's having a hard time getting back in the ring after pulling his leg muscle like that. Ah, uh, trying to put out his lights there. Uh. Taking the midsection. Second row, Pete with a bad slash. Nine for ten. Two count, Rick. He tries to weaken him a little more, getting him ready for another pin. He reaches into his trunks. He's got something in his hand, uh, reaching his trunk. I think he's got it back in. And the big tongue of this uh, seems to be dazed right now. You don't know what island is in. Well, welcome to the world of professional wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if this man from the island of Tonga. 